Good morning. My name is Ralph Friedrichs. I'm an addiction recovery coach and life coach and the host of this show, the Take Your Life Back Today radio show. You can see a video version of this by going to YouTube channel, Take Your Life Back Today show. Early this morning, I want to ask you to move forward through life together with me. Our relationships in life are precious, valuable treasures from heaven, and we should handle them carefully, always looking for ways to build bridges to each other's hearts. I know all of us desire to come up with higher, and one way we can take a step towards the next level is in our love for one another. A famous novelist, Catherine Ann Porter, once wrote this, quote, Love must be learned and learned again. There is no end to it, unquote. Love should not remain the same year after year. Love is supposed to grow, blossom. Relationships evolve over time. People change over time. And our love should strengthen and grow over time as well. The Apostle Paul prayed that our love would abound and grow in knowledge and depth of insight. That tells me that I cannot put my love on autopilot. If we put our love on autopilot and think that people in our lives simply know that we love them, our relationships will not grow or be as fruitful as they were intended to be. This is why it's so important to make every effort to keep strong connections in our relationships. Friends, today I want to tell you several years ago when I became a host of my uh, show, the Take Your Life Back Today show, my life became fuller and more complicated. Oftentimes I found myself moving in different directions, so I had to make an extra effort to connect with others throughout the day. I recognized that if I didn't make an effort, I would find myself breezing right past others in my life with my mind preoccupied with the tasks at hand. So to help keep the connection, I decided to acknowledge my loved ones every time we passed during the day. Sometimes we would uh, just wink at each other. Sometimes it's a quick I love you or a kiss. It's not important how we connect, but it's important that we do connect. Do you understand? We are all busy people in life. All of us are busy during the day, but whenever we see each other, everything else is placed on hold for a moment while we connect. It is crucial that we do that. Keep our connections very strong, my friends. And if you keep them strong, it helps keep our hearts moving in the same direction. Leaving notes is a wonderful and easy way to keep connections. When I travel uh, without anyone else, uh, I put little, uh, maybe I'll leave a notes on the refrigerator on the fr right before I get to head to the airport saying, I love you. You might want to leave sweet notes on, um, uh, on the refrigerator or around the house maybe in the drawer, or under a pillow, or on the TV remote as little reminders to the people you love that they are valuable to them, to you, I should say. It takes time and an and effort to main connections in our relationships. Sometimes when someone hurts or offends us, we can be tempted to disconnect from them. But one of the most common mistakes people make in relationship is to give the other uh, person the silent treatment in an effort to pull back. I heard a story about a couple who had a huge fight. That night the man and wife were still not talking to each other and since the man didn't want to give the first uh, uh, give in first, he left her a note saying uh, exactly this, wake me up at six o'clock in the morning. Well my friends, let's see wake me up at six o'clock in the morning. The next morning, the man woke up at eight o'clock and was furious. He was about to go find his wife to give her a piece of his mind when he noticed a note on his side of the bed that read, it's six o'clock, wake up. You see, they left notes for each other because they went to bed mad the night before. At one time or another, we have all faced the temptation to disconnect by giving someone else the silent treatment. After being 
I'm married for a very long time, uh, 26 years now, or something to that effect. No, being together 26 years, I have learned that it's not the best way to handle a disagreement. Matter of fact, scripture encourages, don't let the sun go down on your anger. It's not good to go to sleep mad and frustrated because you'll wake up with the same anger and frustration when you went to bed with, and you probably won't sleep very well either. It's important to let go and move forward. You may not have the resolution to the disagreement by the time the evening comes, but if you will learn that you can disagree, still be friends, you will enjoy your relationships a whole lot more. I have a friend who tells me that sometimes when um, she and her husband are still mad at each other at bedtime, right before she goes to sleep, she will simply say to him, I am right and you are wrong and I love you. Good night. It's a pretty simple uh, statement. My wife and, um, and I have decided that sometimes you have to just agree to disagree. We're not all going to agree on the same thing. One of the most freeing things, experiences, is to recognize that you are two different people who see things differently and you can still love each other and stay connected. Just because you have a disagreement with your friends or family members does not mean they are not plenty of other areas on which you see eye to eye. It just means that you have difference of opinion. Having the same heart and the same goal is what maintains a good connection. There will be times when we do not agree on uh, every decision or subjects. But we should always believe in one another, support one another, and move forward through to get our life together, connected as one. Learn to agree to disagree. Move forward. Call me at 844-405. Help. Together we can help each other take our lives back. Be good to yourselves and always be good to each other. A simple smile to a neighbor, friend can change their day, change their life, and can even change your life. Moving forward, agree to disagree, never go to sleep angry at night, and always remember that God truly, truly loves you. He's there waiting for you. May you have a great day, and we'll talk to you folks real soon. God bless you.